Man, don't you know that I'm loco? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Some survival story, three stages story. This is my story. This a real get a story. Hey, yo, it's your boy Sean, big enough three stages. I right? wow wow. Hey, okay, this is Passion again, standing here with Patrick Kelly. Yes. How you doing today? I'm blessed. Thank you very much. Pleasure right. to be here. How you doing? Uh, welcome to National HIV Testing Day. My name is Patrick Kelly. I'm with the National AIDS Education and Services for Minorities, a community-based organization located at 2140 MLK Junior Drive here in Atlanta. We provide free HIV testing, not just on National HIV Testing Day, but we do it every day. Right. We come out into the community. We will come to your house, your schools, your churches, wherever we need to go to spread the word about HIV prevention. Just want to give you a little update on HIV and how it's affecting the African-American community. African-Americans make up 13% of the population here in the United States of America, yet we make up over 51% of the newly diagnosed HIV and AIDS cases. If that's not alarming, what is? One thing that I want to say to the community and those of you who are listening right now, we have to stop worrying about George Bush and the politicians. It wasn't George Bush and the politicians that took us out of the bonds of slavery. It was the community coming together as a whole. And that's what we are going to need to lick this disease in the African-American communities. I need to say that there are so many people out here today that are walking around who don't even know they have this disease. This is the reason why testing this period is important, period. This is the reason why we have National HIV Testing Day so that people can come out, get tested, find out what their status is. Mm -hmm. And I want to give you another uh, fact about HIV testing. What we also recommend to people, if you are sexually active in any kind of way, come get tested. The other thing is, is that we don't just have HIV to worry about in the African-American community. We have to worry about other sexually transmitted diseases, right. such as herpes, syphilis. syphilis, gonorrhea, vaginal infections, Yeast infection, hepatitis A, B. We really need to find out exactly what it is about our health. That's right. One of the things that I want to say is, is that there are a lot of things that are going on in the African American communities that are free. People are not aware yeah. of it. We have our common welfare out in Decatur. Okay. We have uh, Cobb County Department of Health. We have Fulton County Department of all Health. Right. These are all free services. Okay. I mean, if you want something free, make it be your health. We can't wait for somebody else to take responsibility. HIV and AIDS has been out in this community for over 25 years. There are very few people who know who have not heard about HIV, but there are plenty of people out there who don't know what their HIV status is. Mm. Yeah, hear that. If you love yourself, if you love your wife, your husband, your children, your church members, we need to make this an everyday conversation. That's right. Okay. That's right. I'm not here to beat up anybody. I'm not here to talk about BET and how they have disrespected uh, black African-American women more than the slave master ever. Thank you, and uh, we have a big uh, uh, HIV-AIDS Wrap It Up program. Oh, wonderful. So um, wonderful. I want to tell your viewers to spread the word, not the disease. All right. Very important to our but community. But at the same time, I applaud them because they do recognize that they do have a task, and they have taken on the Wrap It Up campaign. Right. So, And only through events like this and people like yourself and people that are here today I just want to say these are my colleagues and constituents who are out here every day understanding, not getting paid a whole lot of money. Some of them aren't even getting paid. There's more volunteers here today than there are paid staff. I'm going to take a line for Idi Amin, and some people may want to be mad at me about this. But when it comes to HIV and AIDS, if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. Get involved. Get tested. Know your status. We need you. Our small based organizations cannot do it alone. God bless you. We love you. Get tested. And spread the word, not the disease. And guess what? I stand up with Magic Johnson and Abbott. Take care now. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. 
This your girl Passion again, up here at Morehouse University for June 27th, National HIV and STD Testing. As I was walking around campus trying to get a few interviews and talk to people, I came across this young lady by the name of Ms. Janice Williams from the West End Medical Centers. Um, Ms. Williams, can you tell my viewers exactly what goes on at the West End? Okay, the West End Medical Center actually consists of four sites in addition to the main center, which is on York Avenue and we provide services, medical services to patients. Uh, we accept um, insurance, HMO, PPO, uh, most major credit cards. There's a sliding fee scale. Uh, we provide adult services, uh, blood pressure screening, diabetes education. There is an on-site pharmacy and laboratory. Um, there's a WIC service provided there. There's OB services as well as pediatrics. Okay, my program that I coordinate there at West End is called the Breast and Cervical Cancer Program. And we provide free mammograms for women between the ages of 50 and 64 who don't have a medical insurance. Wow, that's awesome, because we all need to get checked out. No matter what we're getting checked for, awareness is the key, correct? Correct. correct. And you said, is it, you said free? Did it's you, free. It's free? It is free. Are you sure? Uh, we also do pap smears, okay. and they're free. Okay. Um, and we can do the follow-up. If we uh, can get people to uh, diagnosis with biopsy, we can uh -huh. pay for that. Okay. And um, if we um, find out that they do have a positive diagnosis for cancer, we can help them to get assistance to get uh, Medicaid to All pay right. for the treatment. All right. Well, you see at first three stages, always spreading awareness because we need to know is going on. The word, not the disease. All right. Thank you, Janice. You have a great day. All right. And we out. It is such a privilege to be standing next to this woman right here. Miss Joyce Littell from V103, I've been dying to meet you. Get out of here. And I feel so honored to be here right now. I need a little fire up on yeah, us. Yeah. Every now and then. Yeah, that's right. Now, uh -huh. I deal with penetration of the mind. Okay. And I think that's the problem. A lot of people can't handle that. Right. You know, they want to... But you know what? You know what the problem is in, in, in our culture? is that we haven't been told that it's okay. Right. You know, right. everything was hidden. You That's know, right. everything went behind the closed door. Yeah. And, and uh, affection and love yeah. and, you know, compassion. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't shown. I yeah. mean, I grew up with a great mother and a father. But I didn't see my dad and mom kiss and snuggle and my dad give him a little pat on the bunkum and then, you know, and say, baby, I love you. I didn't see that, but I knew they loved us. Yeah. I knew they loved each other. I just didn't see it. Yeah. So as as an adult, it was difficult for me to say, hey, push back. You know, I ain't seen my dad do my mama like this, and you can't do me like, like this. That. But that's, that's right. where the problem lies. It's okay. It's okay to show love. It's okay to embrace. It's okay to tell anybody what you need, what you want, when you want it, and how you want it. Right. It's okay, but we just got to keep on that journey to, re to free people of their inner selves and wow. thinking that if I say these things or want these things, somebody's going to think bad of me. And that's, and that's, that's what thing. I went through, and I've developed this TV show where I was able to bring sex. And I'm promoting awareness. My motto is spread the word, not the disease. Right. So now I can still do my poetry on the side, but I give exposure to artists now. I'm right. bringing in the community now to right. promote awareness. I mean, keep doing your thing. You Thank cannot you. let man steal your joy. That's right. That's, that's, that's the right. key to any and everything. Don't let man steal your joy. Mm -hmm. And whatever brings you joy, peace, and happiness, you see it through. You pray about it, and you keep it moving. Amen. Hey. Joyce, thank you for your time. Hey, that's what it's all about. Right. We definitely got to be safe out there. I think that's what this day and any day is all about, yeah. is being careful and being safe. And you and I are two black women, and we know that's one of the highest HIV, you know, carriers yes. in, in Georgia and possibly in the country because we don't love ourselves enough to say, hey, I cannot do this without some form of protection, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I can't be there with That's you. Right. So it is vitally important for us. You keep doing your thing Thank and you. spreading the word and spreading the message and letting people know it's about you. Take care of you. Take the test. And if anybody don't want to protect themselves, you protect yourself. It's all good. Spread the word, not the disease. She said it, I'm just going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all take care. Stay tuned. Peace.
better run, not to the sea. I want Alice and me. And my birthday comes to see. And Kyla, this my friends. I got my lesson. I love. Okay. How you doing today, Passion? I'm Mika Terry. We're out here with Swirl, the Swirl Project of Live Free Movement. We are here basically to roll people into this lifestyle of fun and movement, of testing. All we want to say is live free, be free, be safe, be sexy, but also get tested. So it's a crazy movement. We're really excited. We're going to have a lot of fun. We'll constantly be doing get, get tested, get in parties once a month. You can only get in if you get tested. We'll always have the hottest entertainers there. For more information, I'm out here with Divine Talent Productions, three stages show live with Spread the Word, Not the Disease. I like that. Spread the Word, Not the Disease. It's all about it. We right here live at Compound Nightclub, man. Doing it real big with three stages. Spread the word, not the disease. It's your boy Tyron the Icon, a.k.a. Mr. Fly Guy. I'm putting it down for all the R&B heads out here. Y'all know how I'm get down, man. From Detroit to Atlanta, we keep it big always. I'm about to hit the stage in a couple seconds. Make sure you don't miss that. Um, we out here, man, like I said, knowing your status, man. Know if you got an STD or AIDS, man. It's very important to you. It should be. It's real important to me, man, because... You just don't want to get with a partner or get a wife or a husband or just be a human being in today's society with AIDS, especially African American, because we already got one strike against us by being African Americans. So let's be smart and get tested. Know your status, three stages, spread the word, not the disease. It's going down. Compound Nightclub, your boy Tyron the Icon. Oh, yeah. My name is Big Sean. I'm going to host this event for today. Um, I got on the ones and twos, DJ Jamal. Y'all give for DJ Jamal on ones and twos, y'all. The people that's already tested, y'all, I'll talk to y'all, because people ain't tested yet. They concentrate right now. They're like, damn. I think I'm straight. But I remember that one night, that Patron. The Patron make you do things, don't they? All right. <laughs> so we in the compound. This is my first time in here without paying $500. So I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that. We got an artist gonna come up here and perform for y'all tonight. My name is Big Sean, y'all. So we're doing comedy on the porch outside in front of the pool. This is very elegant. And um, again, uh, if you haven't got tested, you know, don't worry. I think y'all pretty good. I ain't having waiting on my results. I'm... All right, Detroit is definitely in the house, man. Hey, put your hands up. Put your hands up in the compound. Put your hands up. Let's go. Huh. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Here we go. Huh. Huh. Hey, hey, hey.
Ladies, only my ladies. Ladies, how you feeling tonight? Y'all feeling all right? <laughs> for those of you who don't feel as well, maybe there's something I can make you feel better. So listen, this one is for you. <laughs> There'll be no darkness tonight, lady in love will shine, lighting the light. Just be a trust in my heart and meet me in paradise. Now is the time, girl, you're everyone during this room to me. Transits I won't steal away So listen to my heart Let your body close to mine Let me feel you in my dreams I can make you feel alright And maybe through the years Gonna love you more each day So I promise you tonight That you will always be the lady God bless. Go get tested. Tyron. Tyron, y'all. That are positive and willing to share that with other people okay. sitting in our audience because, once again, there is a stereotype yeah, that's what I'm of saying. people that are infected. So you uh -huh. want to And this is what I try to tell people. It's a non-discriminatory disease, right. okay? That's right. And it's not for a certain class of people or that's a certain right. group of people. That's right. If you have been, of course, then you are subject to get it, unprotected. Yes. All right. Okay? All right. So you need to know. Well, right. what about medicines? A lot of people well, is okay. in fear of not being able to afford to be tested. No, no, no. See, that's why I'm out in places like this today, because either way it goes, you're a winner. That's if you right. find out you are, then you are people here that can help you with what you're going through. If you don't, then you don't need your help, because there are some wonderful organizations. But the more people that we get out here, the more funding that we will get. Yeah, that's okay? right. Now, we'll what have organization are you with? Uh, Right now, I'm with the DeKalb County. Ryan White. All right. Okay, I talked to people when I was in Los Angeles. We are a society that is flourishing. Yes. We don't live in the sidelines, and I found that here in Decatur, people have a tendency to feel like you know they're less than. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. God gave God gave me the strength to deal with it. This is why the song said, "Lord, don't move my mountain. Just give me the strength to climb." Okay. I have the strength to deal with it. All right. Okay. All right. And it's not gonna change, and I don't really want it to change because right. it was my wake up call. But see, I'm one of the old school people. Oh, okay. I know That's one of your me. Youngsters. I'm uh, an not old yet. person. Okay? I just got my I'm space. In the 50 plus. Uh oh. Okay. The 50 okay. plus group. I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Even older women need to know this. That's right. Okay? That's right. It's not for young, it's not for teenagers, it's not, like I said, it's a non-discriminatory disease. Now, let me ask you something. Being within that age range, one, we don't get old, we get better. That's right. That's number one. I can tell people I'm fine wine, get oh. better with time. <laughs> That's right. You gotta bury some more, you play me the sweet of my song. <laughs> as as I know what I'm doing. Okay? Right. But anyway, I'm learning. But let but me I'm ask not. you. Sure. Being within that age range, they just did a story about someone that found out they were infected that was 56. Uh -huh. How is it, they were saying you can't teach an old dog new tricks. How can we get the older generation to be more accepting as well, to learn more or to talk to their grandkids about See, it? See, that's what I deal with a person's mind and their okay. attitude. Because okay. once their attitude is free, then their mind will be free and then they can deal with things. Okay. But if you have a closed mind, and this is why I really try to let people know that this disease is not discriminatory. It's not for this group, not for that group. There is no label on it, okay? Yes. Anyone who has sex in a sense, and we all do at one time or another, some of us are fortunate to have more than others, <laughs> however, Yes. You're at risk when you're not protected. That's be it right. with your husband, be it with a faithful partner that you think is faithful. You'll be unaware of another person's activities. Yes. Even though you're faithful doesn't mean he's faithful. faithful. Or That's he's right. faithful doesn't mean that she's faithful. That's right. Okay? That's right. You can't count. And then another thing a lot of people don't realize is that it takes six months to two years yes. before it shows up. So. There are some of us who can backtrack six months, yeah. but then there are some that can't, yeah. okay? Yeah. In any of this period of time, you have put yourself in, a, in you know, at, I won't say at risk, because I feel it's a no-win, I mean, it's a win-win situation, you know, because if I find out, it's what I do with it. 
And if, you know, if I am, okay, fine. Let me go. See, I found out within a month. I had taken a test in April, okay. negative. I took the test in June, positive. I went right in and got my meds. Okay. Those that can't afford meds, there are programs. And the, and the more we find out, the more programs will be available. Okay. Okay? As I said, most of your county facilities, such as DeKalb, Fulton County, what have you, they have programs within the county wow. systems okay now there's some that can afford you know to go to their private doctors i'm not telling you where to go i'm just saying go wow. okay right. okay my name is charlene thompson i'm with the DeKalb counties ryan white and as it's been said before and i'll say it here spread the word not the disease spread the word not the disease um, why is today important to you? Um, I think everybody should know their status, regardless of if you're afraid or not. You still always know your status. So in doing that, I came out with support knowing your status. Okay, all right. I'm Spread the word, not the disease. All right, thank you so much. Have a good one. He just said they got a back door. Just in case you hear something you don't want to hear. Now he know he's wrong for that. Look here, man. This your boy Sean P, man. And I'm spreading the word, man. Just like y'all should do, man. Spread the word or not a Z. Y'all know the business, man. Sean P. Eastside was handing there. Safe sex is everything. Get your test, get checked up, and everything. You got to be safe, man. For real, for real. Be safe. Spread the word, not the disease. Passion um, spreads the word and not the disease for HIV AIDS. It's really important for us to understand that we can be tested and treated. Get tested, get treated. Thank, Thank you, Passion. You wouldn't be a white face if we ain't take it to the next level. Look who we got in the ATL. Tell me about I'll keep the same, I'll wrap it up. You dance? So you gonna do a dance for us? All right, what's your name? Kyla. Kyla, all right, where's your mom, Kyla? Right here. Oh, that's Kyla's mom. Oh, that's China. Kyla's mom, China. Because so Kyla, you gonna do a little something for us? You need some music? All right. Jamal, give Kyla some music. That's your stage. Y'all give it up for Kyla. Woo! Are you ready? Don't, don't you touch your toes one time. Here. Go ahead, Kyla. Do your dance. Woo! Kyla. This your girl Passion. We about to put the day segment to a close. Cause I'm tired. They done took me out of my clothes. You know I'm always saying wrap it up, but I had to take it off cause I'm burning up. This is how you keep passion with safe sex. This, this same. This is the sexiest thing ever. You see that? I don't know how many people keep it real. Magnum double XL. Told you shit. I told you. Black. See? Oh. Shit like that. Yeah. You're know, a little itty bitty man, you go get them lifestyles, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what I would can. do about you. Do what you can. For real. Don't overspose yourself, man. Don't you end up catching something. Don't, don't die alone. <laughs> Say, don't die alone. Don't die alone. Hey, man. Brought to you by three stages, man. Y'all need to wrap it up, home, but like on the real, on some serious shit, man. Yeah. Keep it don't, don't play with your life, treat yourself off the street the wrong way, man. Ladies too, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. you a nigga it. ain't finna get married to you, you better make him put one on. If you can't fit a magnet, you might want to rethink the situation all together anyway. Fuck how the nigga look. He <laughs> need to turn three stages.